Hola, it's me, Wussy, and Richard. Yes, I did a bit of Spanish. Yeah. It's taken me wow. 11 days to learn hola. Mm. It hasn't really. It took me <laughs> five years. It's a very hard course. Um, yes, welcome to day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas at the Lopezan without the Christmas. Um, yeah, we've been having a fantastic time. Thank you for coming on the journey with us. Uh, we will be going down for our unique breakfast any moment. But first, Richard needs to report on the weather. It is 9.48 That's the time. In the Big Brother house. And it is 30 degrees. 30 degrees and we're not even at 10 a.m. And it is very yeah, hot. Yes, it is very hot. I think it's because of what Jack said about, oh, I can't remember what the name was. Oh, yeah, she used this like fancy word like from the geography term. Maybe it's not even fancy, but to no, me it was, it was fancy. Like, and she wow. said um, she got her the other night in there. Climita, cl climate? Oh, no. No, that's just climate. It's just so You're embarrassing. Climate change. No, basically, something's happened and it's gone really, really hot. So we're not complaining. But um, it was very hot last night. Meanwhile, normally... Jax is watching this like, they're stupid. Stupid. <laughs> uh, we, this, um, we normally sit with the, this patio door open, yeah. uh, like the balcony door open, rather. That's um, nice. Because it's just nice the atmosphere and yeah you, you got up in the night and closed it because when you close it the aircon turns on that's something we haven't mentioned um, yes. when you have your door open your, the aircon will automatically turn off and when you close your balcony door the aircon will come back on I mean you can turn it off and on manually but you can't ever have it on if you've got the doors open because Very of course it's a complete waste of time and um, mentioning Jax if you don't know who Jax is Jax uh, oh, messaged yes, me on sorry. Instagram like last week when we first got here saying oh my god I'm coming to the Lopes and too um, so when she got here she introduced herself and we met her the other night and yeah. she is lovely Mwah. Uh, but yes, we're going to get down to breakfast, but I do have to show you the view, and the view comes with a coffee that I made using my Nespresso machine. Ooh! So there you go, you have to get an Nespresso machine in a unique room. They're doing but some you don't get it this morning, getting rid of all the leaves. Oh yes, yeah, so they're getting rid of the leaves here. It was quite leafy yesterday, and all the putting the beds out, good work. Let's have a look down here. There's no one out, I've already checked. Oh, there's a few leaves in that pool. Oh, some birds, hello birds, hello birds. Um, hola, sorry, hola birds. Uh, yes, there we go, lovely, lovely view. As you know, the sea is over to the left. Oh look, here's some models that we hired just to walk through. And yes, we will be heading here. I'd like to sit outside this morning, but that's where we have a unique breakfast, La Toscana. So let's go. Okay, so today is the day we are going on an adventure after breakfast. We're going to go up to this tower here. I'd like to go across to that tower there. We don't actually know for sure if we can get access to get up there. Very, very occasionally though, we do see someone out there or some people taking pictures and poses. That might just be because they're official photos for the hotel. Or it could be that they are guests and no one else goes up there. So we're going to try. So that's our plan after breakfast. A bird, a paradise. And it's time to go in. Remember, your unique breakfast is eight in the morning until 11. It's only until half 10 if you're a regular guest, so you technically get an extra half hour breakfast or an extra half an hour in bed. Oh, it's different from yesterday because we're going outside. Ooh. Oh, well, this is lovely, darling. This is very unique. We can see the gas on the plaza. I can see my birds of paradise just down here, looking out over that way. Beautiful. Oh, I can just about see the lighthouse there as well. Right, let's see what we want to order this morning. Well, I got my coffee, I got my milk. We've got orange in a very fancy jug. I like this little beak. And here we go in wine glasses. Cheers. Oh, cheers, darling. Unique. And just like that, my fancy breakfast has come. I say it's fancy because it's got lettuce leaves on it. And I also got 
the crepes. And then which did you go very similar? He just didn't get the sausages. I did ask, um, with the unique menu, you can order anything you want off it as many times as you like. So it is a bit like a buffet, but at, um, at your table. So that's very good. Last, uh, yesterday, I only ordered the crepes. And then I thought, that's it, my order's complete. But actually, no, nope, you can order as much as you want. Woohoo! Oh, and I've eaten a sausage, and now my beans have arrived. Woo! I'm thinking 2023, Wednesday the 4th of October, 10.30 a.m. It's Coca-Cola, isn't it? Did I get it right? Well, I've just checked over the food and it's exactly the same as yesterday, which is obviously lovely. Oh, you like a silhouette. Why? Do, do, some, do a puppet show, quick. Do the Bird of Paradise. What? Uh, bird? No. Do, do better. Go. Bird. A bird. <laughs> a bird. A paradise. There we go, back to normal now. Right, well, let's go and explore the towers. Oh, and of course, if you're not aware, there is actually like this kind of like cafe area, La Plaza Cafetiera. Cafeteria. <laughs> However you say it, I don't know. I haven't just woken up. Um, yeah, so we've just been in there. But if you sit in this section outside here, it's not like an actual indoor cafe. But just this outdoor section, you can get served by the, the cafe people. The cafe people. It's like the village people, but with food. Goodbye, everyone. We don't know what we're doing, but we know that the tower's at the top. So we've pressed number eight, and we're back. <laughs> okay. We don't know a lot about to get into the tower, but we know it's high up. So we've pressed number eight. Let's see what happens at the top. We've never been to the floor eight. <laughs> okay, we have an answer already. You come up to floor eight. There you go, that's proof. Um, and here, there's some glass doors. These aren't normally here on any of the other floors. Sadly, we cannot go up, but this must be the way up the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Um, but yes, there is a sign here that says, it's probably a bit too dark to read, but it does say space closed due to a private event. So no admittance, but can we look up at all? Oh, a few flights of steps to go up there, and then you can get to the tower. Let's try the other side, just in case, but I'm presuming it's gonna say exactly the same thing. Ah, you know that these are big suites, because there's doors there, and then here, where you'd expect to see the next set of doors, there are no doors. So you know that they have a very, very big suite at the top, darling. Any luck? No. Oh, we found another tower. No admittance. We don't have a reason for this one. I presume it's exactly the same height. Yes. Ah. Oh, no towers. Oh, you can just go right on by the side and pretend that you can't read. But no admittance, so no, no towers today. No speak English, no speak German, no speak Oh, I speak French. Ah, I don't understand. I have to go up, yes. <laughs> ah, so we've come down one level. We're on level seven. This is the patio that looks down on where we go for dinner. So dinner is through there. The supermarket is here. There's an ATM machine in the corner there. The shops are along the bottom, along here. And the way to reception is diagonally through that way, which does mean if we come along here, the opposite side to where we are staying, we should get a lovely view of the entrance from higher up. <gasps> there we go. Lovely fountain. Hello, Sheila. Oh, and I can feel the wind, which is nice. The water. Oh, there's someone in the water. Oh, hello, fisherman. I presume he's filtering out <laughs> the water. Oh, and look, you can see some um, orange towels on here for the unique guests at the Baobab. Oh, it is windy. And the lovely mountains in the distance. Oh. Very nice. Oh, and you can even see some of the dunes over here because Mas Palomas Beach is that way, which means, oh, this white building here is where we walk to. That's 
the Ryu at Playa del Ingles. Woo! Good view from up here. Hello, Delma! Ooh, so we found another patio. There are many of these around and we haven't been to them all. I've never seen this one in my life. So there's this patio here. I can just see, if I move this way slightly, um, see like the temple-y, I call it like, looks like a temple dome type building. That is the other Lopezan, the Villa del Conde, which has a spa. Again, I'm probably saying it all wrong. If I go this way in my flip-flops, I can see this is the entrance to the Baobab Hotel, which is the, another Lopezan that we were just looking at. Different view. Again, mountains in the background. Come around here, very picturesque. Oh, apart from, apart from which I did grab. Ha ha ha. I come this way, I can see the sea. So I get a view of the sea there, and also some more towers. The other night we did see people up here. So maybe it's just if you've booked it. We know that if you have a wedding here, you can go up there and have wedding photos up in the towers. Um, but the other night we just saw people moving up there. So again, maybe they'd booked it. Oh, and the cleaners are out. Lovely. Ah, well this place is like a maze. We came down to level six. We walked along the corridor and we're just too low. How do we get to my darlings? I wanted to visit you since I was two weeks old. Oh, well, it's not looking good for Towers Day. We gave up. Not sure we're gonna get... Mm, I haven't fully given up, but 99% <laughs> of me has given Point up. Point <laughs> Yes. We have come, though, to level two. There is no level one over here anyway, because, of course, you see how high this um, ground floor level is, which is called PB, which I presume stands for ground floor in Spanish, PB. Um, Yes, so level one, I guess, technically is above there, and there isn't there isn't one because it's double ceiling. So they're the doors that take you out to um, where the band will play, where all the fountains are, where all the infinity pools are, and all the different pools. You can see the fountains at the front there. This is Bar Central. But if you come this way, if you ever need to go to see um, a medical expert, then you can come this way. So that's good to know. We will head on here and then also lovely artwork here. Um, but there's a few other things. So, um, ah, let's follow the people. I remember this from last year. Has it changed? Ah, it's still closed. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on this, but I think by the looks of things, this is closed. Geschlossen. It used to be, can we see it or not? Let me see if I can cover the reflection. There you go. Look, it used to be perhaps a supermarket, whereas of course now the supermarket is downstairs where you come out of dinner. But yes, that is there. Head around this way. And let's see what we find, shall we? Oh, we've got tables and chairs. Is this just so you can sit and work? Not really sure. It feels like a little bit of a dead space, to be honest. Not really sure what happens here. Oh, but there we go. We do have our own hairdressers here. What are the opening times? From 10 until 1, and then from 4 until 8. So it's open in the evening. So there we go. We've got hairdressers. We've got... Well, I don't know what this is, but whatever used to be here is closed. There's lots of little units, really, that could have been shops. And there you go, that's where the new supermarket is, down there, which does mean that we are just above the way to go in for your dinner and for your breakfast. Yes, that's what's up here. Ah, this must be the medical part as well then. Oh, I don't like these chairs. Yes, medical consultation here. What time is this open, does it say? If you need a doctor, call, and let's put the number on. <laughs> so. It is closed, but there's a phone number. Hopefully not. Oh, this is a very lovely private dining area. Maybe if you are allergic to people, you can <laughs> sit there and have your own table for two. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe, is that like a training room so you can practice putting the cutlery down? Do a bit uh, of role playing? like a storeroom for downstairs. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, like all the clothes, the merchandise. Interesting. Oh, I love being a spy. What's this one? Oh no, that's not a very good one. That's I like bins and cleaners. Interesting. Oh yes, this is, yeah, this is like 
all of the where they store everything for the shops that are just below because we are above them oh look here this is like light bulb fittings and whatnot i wonder if this is for downstairs well things have some break i don't know yeah and there you go a lovely view of the fountain absolutely obsessed with the fountain very lovely so that's what's on this side above the restaurant aha confirmation the all day supermarket brand is there we're just heading down so that used to be the entrance yeah so the supermarket used to be a little bit tucked out the way so i can see why they moved it to where it is now because as people come in and out of dinner and breakfast it's just more convenient you get the passing trade so we're now on the opposite side these are the spa pools we've come up one set of stairs and we've never seen this before the Tui lounge. lounge so yeah, if you've booked Tui's a holiday a, there's Tui things everywhere Oh, oh yes, like two. Oh, so maybe if you've done like a package holiday, maybe you come in here. Oh, yeah. oh and there's a screen as if maybe they like teach you something. Going home. Going home? No, not until tomorrow. It's a little bit dark. Um, but yes, there's this random place to sit, read a book, and as you can see, it's not being used. But you do get a good view of the big spa pool. Our old room up there. Hello, old room. Ah, I love exploring the hotel. What else will we find? So, we were, you see the little window all over there? That's where we were. Hairdressers and everything's on that side. We're on the opposite side. Looking down over reception, darling. If you come this way, not sure what we'll find. Lovely, lovely artwork. Oh, look, 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 look. Yes, a little monkey wants to hold my hand. Hello. Um, that little business lounge thing. I say business lounge. Tui lounge. Don't know what to call it. Was there. That's the other side of reception. So, what is on this side? Oh, I'm not too sure. There's a person. There's a person. There's a witchy dig up. These and there's a fountain. Rooms. Just rooms, apparently. Just rooms. And I have already reported that this looks like it's where you book your excursions, um, different trips you want to do. And also, on the worst day of your life, when you have to check out, if you did want to leave your luggage, I don't know if you'll be able to see very well. I will, of course, show you properly tomorrow when we actually check out. It tucked away in this corner here. That's the room where you can leave your luggage for the day. So you check out at 12 o'clock. You could pop your luggage in the corner, carry on using the facilities, until it's time to go to the airport. Oh. Nah, stupid secret tower. How do I get to you? Hello? One of life's mysteries. I'll never find out. Oh. Well, we've popped out the front because this one here wants to go get something. I want, it. want what? You'll have to wait and see. Oh, what are you getting? It's 11.21 a.m. And it's 35 degrees. It is so hot. Woo! I love Jean Um, In Spanish, we say stupido. Stupido. He's made us walk all the way back to this shop so he can try this hat on, and now we've seen it again. I don't want it. He's realised he doesn't want it. I did say, I think it's just awful. Oh, yes, yeah, some tights. Ah, oh, so we've walked all this way. I say all this way, it's like two seconds down the road. And we're not getting the hat. Maybe next year, yeah. And also I said, if you get a big hat like that, you can't put it in your suitcase. You're gonna have to carry it on the plane all the way home. So, ah. Is it fashion from Milan? No, it's a head massager and my head is shaking. <laughs> what do you think? It's awful. <laughs> ah, this reminds us of the Meccans restaurant that we go to at home. They have lots of macrame dangling down. And look at this doormat. All are welcome here. Well, not at my house. You have to have an invite or be unique. 
Well, a trip to Ale Hop was fun, but uneventful because we didn't get the hat of your dreams. We got nothing in there. We got nothing. So I did tell myself if I ever came back, I'd get myself a Maserati watch. But the one I wanted, it's not here. Because I got it right here. <laughs> oh dear. Witch de Grub has now also started a shopping spree. He's had his eye on these the whole time. And now he's having a look. What do we think, darlings? They're a bit of an off-white colour and then the sole is white. Mmm. Well, these look nice and classy, but he's just tried them on. And there are no as well, I'm afraid. Are there any others that you like? There are not. There are not. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm a very happy gay today because um, I've been thinking about that for a whole year. I've been Googling it. I've been it's looking true. at that watch for a whole year and I did tell myself I'd get it if I ever came back. I did come back and I stuck to my word and I haven't seen another watch in a whole year that's made me feel the way that that watch did. So it's true love. There she is, my little box. Can I open it with one hand? No, wait there. Here she is, my new baby. <gasps> wow. Oh, I love the blue, I love the gold, I love the massive Maserati logo. And I want to get it because um, Britney Spears says, if you, um, you want a Maserati, in her song, Work B, I can't say the actual word, but yes. You want a Maserati? This is the closest I get to it. Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> well, it's 12.30. That can only mean one thing. It's time to go unique. Into the lounge we go. How busy is it in the VIP lounge today? Not too bad. There are some people, but it's all right. Let's get our snacks and our drinks. Charles, Charles, darling. La, la, la. Let's have a look at what snacks and nibbles we have today. I won't be able to identify things very well, but we do have some little croissants. Are they like um, biscuity things? Ham and cheese sandwiches? Um, are these tuna or salmon sandwiches? Oh, and then we've got some like fancy sandwiches with potentially some ham slices in. What's it look like from the top? Oh, lovely jubbly. And isn't she a beauty? Do you think I can put her in my suitcase. Do you think she'll fit? I might try her. We just bumped into Jack's and the word I was on about earlier is Kalima. Kalima, yes. No longer so stupid, eh? We were calling it climate change. Um, so Kalima, um, so the reason why it suddenly got really, really, really hot um, here in Grand Canaria is apparently due to Kalima. Kalima. Thanks, Jax. So it's 10 to 3. So of course that means that you can't change your towels. That'll be back open at half four. But I'm heading down this way. Look at this. We have live bananas. I say live like, hello, welcome live to the banana studio. But yes, we're growing our own bananas here at the Lopezan. I am a little bit obsessed with these weird, tropical, beautiful plants as well. Look at the shapes that they give. But yes, if you come this side, just to get your bearings as well, behind all here is where is the outdoor portion of having your breakfast and dinner. Um, but we've got um, some signs here which will help point you in the right direction. We're going to head to the left. You see it says tree swimming pool. You will hear me sometimes call it the spitty dog pool. If you haven't seen it already, then you will soon find out why we call it the Spitty Dog Pool. We do sometimes call it Minnie's Pool because we do have an F1 Mini Golden Doodle who's waiting for us at home with my parents at the moment. Um, so we like to pretend that all the dogs are called Minnie. Um, and then also we sometimes call it the Tree of Life Pool. So even though it's actually the Tree Pool... Um, oh look, this is the Lazy River. Lovely view of the Lazy River. Uh, yes, even though it's called the Tree Pool, because we're big Disney fans. If you are a Disney fan, you may have heard of the Tree of Life at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So, anything to do with a tree, and we'll say it's the Tree of Life. But going down this way, we'll show you little sneak, sneaky peeks at the Lazy River. One of the best views 
I think that you will get here other than the infinity pool is this lovely waterfall you'll get lots of good pictures there ah this water feature still not working that's not been working the whole time but I wanted to show you that's the way you can get to the spitty dog pool I won't get too close I don't want to film people too much but yes we were here on I think our first day one of the first days we came here so Again, I wonder if these are supreme pool view rooms because you do have a supreme view of a pool. Hello, Mimi. And also, what you might not know, there's Witchty Club. It's if you walk this way, I'll show you what else is around here. Here we go. So from Spitty Dog Pool, there's your water feature. You can go up this way here to go to the front. And there's some hot tubs up there, some jacuzzis. But if you look at the sign, there's a Witchty Club. It just tells you that to the left is the toilet. However, that's not necessarily completely true. Uh, toilets are just under there, under the archway. Let's head this way, shall we? Shall we sneak round? I'm walking as fast as I can. But you think, where am I going? What is round here? What is Wussy up to? Well, you're about to see. Oh, what's that? Oh, what is this? More water. Yes. Wow. This section here is a pool that I don't think we can use uh, but if you're staying in one of these rooms here you have your own access to this lovely pool you get these I think they call them hammocks on the website but we call them sun lounges you get your table and chairs and you can just swim up oh, look waterfalls here you get your own beautiful water features and there you go you can go swimming in your own pool on this side there's the tower. How do I get into the tower? Right, so we've now walked down to the other end of that pool and we have never been down here ever. And look what we found. Because it feels so private and exclusive, I didn't want to go somewhere where we're not wanted. But we've done it today. This is lovely. Oh, which way do we go? Not sure. You can walk around uh, here. I think it's like near the restaurant. Oh, yes. So. Also, you see here, this is the shopping centre. You can see the top of the building starts there, goes all the way down here. This is the front of the hotel towards the casino. Oh, and look, we've got more fruit. Can we identify? Oh, here, look. On what the is it? The way little crowns. On the left, you've got lime. Oh, wow. It does say that they grow their own fruits. Wow. Yeah, there's loads. Can we just take them? I don't really know. I'm not going to. But I wonder, right, let's see what's through here. Ooh. Well, we had no clue that this was here, but they've got their own little terraces and their own hot tubs. What? I didn't even like see this. On, on yeah. Oh. And then also through here, didn't even see very well, there's like an open courtyard space with some tables and chairs. Um, and I don't know if there's actually like yoga because there's like yoga mats rolled up. But yeah, there's a whole courtyard here, which I've never seen before in my life. What? Oh, hello, my baby. One of the kittens is out. Hello. Hello, my baby. Ah, yes, and look, there it says, 
Pilates, the second one down at three o'clock for 45 minutes, patio six. That's what we just saw. She was waiting for Pilates in the courtyard. Okay, it's time. It's five past three. We're, to uh, we're going in unique style. How busy is it? Through here, darlings, at five past three. Well, I'm seeing some sun lounges, although slightly in the shade. The pool is pretty darn empty, so that's good. Well, I followed Witcher de Grub all the way onto the beach. Uh, there's a lot of options here. Oh, but now we're thinking, what about going onto the lawn area? Do you want an umbrella? Ooh. Oh, they need to lift these up. They're not broken. They've blown down. We could go here. Yeah. We've got the sun here. Yeah. Bit of a shade from the tree. That's burned, baby. You are the culprit. But, yes, lovely. Oh, and this way, darlings, we've got our own special ramp to take us up to the bar area. Time for some milkshakes, I believe. Ah, we've got lots and lots of gourmet sandwiches here. Look how lovely they look. And the lower down, we've got all these cakes. So can you see there's some salads in bowls there? We've got coffee eclair, mango entremet, don't know what that means, hazelnut tartlet and a lemon tartlet. Who are you calling a tartlet? You're the tartlet. There we go, yummy, yummy, yummy. We got our usual favourites, vanilla and Oreo. For anyone that is new and is wondering how you pay for things, well that is where this band comes in. You do not need to be with Unique in order to get this. You can have the standard coloured ones in your room, or of course it is orange if you are Unique, but they do work in the same way. In this wristband is a little microchip, um, and this is going to be your room key. So every time you go to your room, you just go beep like that, and it should go green and let you in. Also, because this is linked to your room, you can use this to pay. So when you go to the bars, um, whether it's the swim up bars or any of the cafes, any of the restaurants, literally anywhere within the hotel where you're going to pay for something, you just go beep. They have like little iPad type things. Um, so you can, uh, use this, go beep, and it will link to your room and then you can pay for stuff. Um, so that's how you pay. And they're completely waterproof. So you can wear them the whole time, go swimming, go to the swim up bar, beep anytime you need uh, and then you can just pay when you check out of course you can take cash and card with you and pay in the traditional way but this just makes it very useful darling and it also means you don't have to worry about um, locking yourself out of your room because you just have this on all the time you go back to the room and go beep and let yourself back in simple Oh, we've got back to the room. It's not even six o'clock. We've had our turn down service. And what do we have today? Are they Jaffa cakes? <laughs> what are these? Oh, are they little like orangey biscuits? Hmm, not sure, but thank you, Lopezan. Thank you. So what we didn't realise is that in our room we have an amenities menu. Um, and if I turn it over, we don't know for sure. But it looks like it might all be free. So we've put our room number in and we've ticked everything. <laughs> and we've said Wednesday, because that's today. And now I'm going to go find the cleaner and say, hello, please give all the free products to us. Okay, so I went to see the cleaner who was just outside the room, but she didn't speak any English. So she told me to call reception. I called reception and she said it is free. Um, and you put in your order and then the housekeeping service will just drop it off at your room. And she said, what would you like? I said, um, I'd like everything. And she said, no, 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 um, just one. I wasn't sure what to get. Of course, I know Clarins. I know Clarins is a good brand. But I noticed that this top one, you get six products. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go with them. So we've ordered this set here. And I let them know that we are checking out tomorrow. So of course, it would be great if we could get this delivered tonight before we check out. So let's see what happens. Now, having said that, um, my new friend Jax, she ticked the boxes for everything, left it for the housekeeper, and she actually got everything delivered. So it's worth a shot. Oh, well, that was quick. About 20 minutes went by, we got a knock at the door, and here we go, we've got a packet with six new products in. <laughs> Ta-da! And just like that, we are changed for dinner. And I'm very, very sorry to say, Richard Grub, this is our official final dinner 
at Lopezan Costa Melanaris. I mm. am a little bit in denial, but I'm also fully we aware we're going to dinner a bit earlier than normal. It's what, about seven o'clock? Uh, yeah. Sometimes we've been at eight o'clock or at half eight or nine, like, because it finishes at half nine, so sometimes we have really been there at the yeah. end. So we've gone a bit earlier. We want, don't want to feel rushed tonight. Um, so I'm feeling very sad, um, but also excited because I'm off to dinner at the Lopezan. <laughs> I love and it. then we're gonna play. Yeah, we want to spend some time sitting out in the plaza whilst the entertainment's going on, sitting there, having a few drinks, playing Uno. We did it a few nights ago and absolutely mm. loved it. And we just want to really soak up the atmosphere without feeling rushed, yeah. which is why we thought we'd go to dinner a bit earlier than we normally do. So yeah, it's time to go to get some grub. We just walked past reception and we could see people checking in. So of course we gave them evils like this. We go, Bleh because they're checking in and we check out tomorrow. So now I'm very, very miserable and I don't like anyone checking in. I'm jealous. I want to check in again. Maybe we should extend our stay. <laughs> to a third room. Mm. Tonight's entertainment says it's the circus show and also some live music. Now is this our band or is this a different band? No, we don't think band. it's our band, but it looks like the name of our band. We will find out. Here we are, our final dinner ever for 2023. It is officially 10 past seven on Wednesday, the 4th of October, 2023. And I'm gonna stuff my face. Oh, I'm gonna eat all the food. There's gonna be no food left. I'm having it all. Well, we've been extra naughty because it's extra hot. We've got a Fanta a orange and a Coca-Cola and another Fanta orange and a Coca-Cola. That's two each. Chaz. So it's now 20 past seven. This is how busy it is at dinner on a Wednesday, the beginning of October. Just doing my walk by, checking the food out, thinking, plotting, planning, working out what ingredients we're gonna put together to make a five star concoction. Mm. Dinner number one. I got some swordfish. I got some these runner beans with little bits of ham in. I got some baby corn. I got um, veal. It looks like a veal casserole with some carrots in. I got some potatoes. I got some a couple of pieces of breaded cod, and I've got some vegetable rice. I also got from the Asia section a little salad. Which do you cook? What did you get, mm. darling? I got some breaded cod. I got some roast parsnips potatoes. I got some carrot thing, carrot sauce, whatever it is. You like a mashed potato, but yes. carrots? I got three chicken drumsticks because I love chicken. I saw them, they look nice. I've got some baby corn. I got some green long beans. I got this, it just said rice with vegetables, yes, I think it I said. Yeah, it was good. And then I got a pizza just in case I hated it all. And are you eating your Uno as well? I'm also eating my Uno, yes. Uno for dessert. Ah, huh. uh, no, I've just realised this one's got nuts in and I'm allergic to nuts. So I won't be eating that one. I will just be looking at it. Mmm, this breaded cod, that is way nicer than anything I've ever had from a fish and chip shop. Well done, Lopezan. Look at it. Very white, very gorgeous. And now it's time for the final dessert of the holiday. I got my rice with rice the cinnamon. cinnamon yeah. I got this little biscuit, which yeah. I think has got some coconut on the top. Oh. And then I got some raspberry and some mandarin. Raspberry and mandarin. Thank you. I love it. Well, similar to you, I also got the cookie that might have coconut shavings on top. I also got one of those little chocolate chip cookies. I got my five star sweeties. I got my little unique. Bear. I got the rice pudding without cinnamon. I've got this little dessert pot because I love my dessert pots. And I got a slice of Lopezan cake. And also worth mentioning, yes. you've got coconut biscuit, but you're not allergic to coconut. Get it? No, I'm not allergic to coconut, but I'm allergic to peanuts, walnuts, and every pecans, other. but I'm fine with almonds. Mmm. Here at the Five Star Lesbian Costa Coffee Melon Zaros, I only eat the finest of the Five Star Banana Slices. It 
it just pops right in. And I eat them too. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm the fool, but you're the bigger fool. Oh no. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye. Well, that really, really is it. Because we'll have breakfast tomorrow morning at La Toscana. Not here. Goodbye, Bye. restaurant. Goodbye, wall. Bye, Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't cry. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but for tomorrow, Oktoberfest is on. 5th of October from 12 till 6 at Bar Laguna. What's this? Breed sells and first on to beer and DJ. Um, and there's some prices here. Oh, different options. I can't see them very well because of the light. But something's going on tomorrow, Oktoberfest. But it's currently 10 past 8. And we need to find somewhere to sit and play Uno. Oh, we could go here, outside. Oh, Unique. Oh, That's oh, our own private lounge. Yeah, she's cleaning it. Go back to your egg chairs where we were at the first time. There are egg chairs, chairs over there. Oh, because it's the circus show. Focus camera. Thank you. Uh, there's down here. Um, oh, there is of course plenty of seats down there. I will take you down there. Just have a look. So yes, ten past eight. Because we went to dinner a bit earlier. There's no stage show on yet but it will be the circus show. Look, there she is, setting up for the ribbon dance that she'll do, dangling down from this kind of giant tripod. I'm sure it's got a better name than that. Um, but yes, at this time of night, plenty of seating options. Lovely infinity pool. Oh, no, which did you go? Oh, oh, yes, go here. We're gonna go here, table for two, please. Ooh, yes, turn those seats over, make them nice and fresh. Hello chair, my bottom is ready for you. So whilst they're setting up, all of the lights just came on. That was at 18 minutes past eight. And we have observed they go off at 10.48 every night. Ooh, so that's the timer. And when I talk about the lights coming on, I also mean these lights in the trees, they came on 18 past eight all at the same time. And the lights around here. So if you want a very, very brief what? Spreading joy and light into the world. Sure. And if you want um, the light show, then there you go. 18 minutes past eight. Take your seats and you'll see everything come on. It lasts for one second and it's a fantastic show. I highly <laughs> recommend it. Well, because it's hot, we got double the drinks. So we've got all the sprites in the world and Richard's got all the Remember, grenadine that's that's drink. drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He says this is Shirley Temple, so Richard's got two Shirley Temples, the Grenadines and Sprite. Mm. Who knew? Who knew? Tonight's entertainment comes from Vulcan Sea, at Vulcan Sea on Instagram. I'll put a link in somewhere. They're more like a rock and roll band. His voice is epic. Look at all the people. Everyone's sitting around watching, enjoying the music. And they're playing away. But his voice is um, pretty insane. So I'll bring you around here. There you go. You can see. Here's their little link. Let's go sideways. At Vulcan C 2014. Vulcan C on Facebook. Woohoo! Oh, and he's having a blast. <laughs> well, I know what I'm wearing to this year's Christmas party. Fantastic, darling. Yeah.
day 11 of our 12 days of Lopezan and that does mean it's our final evening here. <laughs> I feel very sad. However, I'm excited to book another trip to come back. Woo! Not sure when that will be yet, but of course we will be back and we still have a full day tomorrow. We don't leave we do. the hotel until 4.30 p.m to get picked up and get taken to Las Palmas like Airport. All day. Yeah, we've got a long, long day ahead tomorrow. So it's not over yet. No. It does just mean it's our last evening here. And we've we can had a sleep on the flight, time. right? Uh, we might we sleep, sleep on the flight. We don't sleep during the day. We'll we just see. sleep on the flight. Yeah, we can party, party, swim, yeah. swim all day, and then catch up with sleep then. But yes, we had a fantastic time. The band is still playing, which you might be able to hear. And also, if you head down to Cafe Del Mar, um, the party is alive. Well, it feel, I think the circus act has yeah. moved from here to there on the same night, which is just incredible. Yeah. So they have like a two show night. It's a lot. Um, if you're not a subscriber already, then please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon and turn on the notifications on yes. your device so you don't miss out any time we upload any new videos. Hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, that would really mean the world. And also drop me a comment. Do you like the Lopezan? Are you thinking of booking the Lopezan? Do you have a question about the Lopezan? Or maybe there's something that we're missing that we haven't done. Oh yeah, especially when, especially when it regards to um, going to Unique. We might not have done everything, we might have missed something. So let us know, we really yeah. do want to hear from you. Also on Instagram, at wussy underscore. The spelling will be in the corner. And also on Facebook, wussy. Yeah. yeah, well that's it. We will see you again tomorrow for day 12 oh. of the 12 days of Lopez and my darlings. <laughs> All right, bye guys from me, wussy, and Richard.